it's Deb with Deb's Cool Finds and I uh, welcome back all of my subscribers. Hi guys, hope you're doing well and to anybody new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy it and if you do, please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up uh, down below. That's the like button, the thumbs up um, and hit the subscribe button if you so desire to continue to um, know when I post a new video. So, um, awesome of you to subscribe. I made it over a thousand, yay. Uh, so, we'll keep on going, right? I have a Timu haul for you in this bag here, and we'll get into it. Um, <coughs> excuse me, still have whatever this gunk is, um, but we're getting there. Uh, this happens to be when I'm filming it, so I'm, uh, I have a bunch of orders uh, that I just haven't had time to open and videotape for you, so uh, or film, showing my age, film for you. So um, I'm trying to get caught up on this longer weekend. I got today off, which is Good Friday. So um, yeah, happy Easter to all y'all out there. I didn't do any Easter stuff. I actually still have <laughs> St. Patrick's Day up. Um, but if you've watched my videos up to this point, then um, in prior videos, um, depending on when I post this, you know that uh, my beloved puppy, puppy, <laughs> she's 13, um, my beloved dog Bella um, is ill. Um, she has severe pancreatitis and severe anemia, um, plus her age. So um, I'm treating her at home. I didn't want to leave her hospitalized in a kennel. Um, and when I made that decision, the vet was like, that's the decision I would have made, but I couldn't tell you that. Um, but so I'm treating her at home. She's got antibiotics, some other medicine. Um, and then, well, she's got three prescriptions. So the third one has like a pain reliever in it also. Um, so they said you might get a miracle and she pulls through this or I might lose her maybe even this weekend. So... Um, you may have had an updated video prior to this, again, depending on when I post this. Um, but, so as of Good Friday, um, she's hanging in there. She's, um, she's very lethargic. She's, um, kind of sad looking, but she still follows me around the house. And, uh, uh, but she's doing a lot of sleeping, which is good because even for me, when I'm sick, I just want to sleep. So right now she's in my bedroom. This is my guest room. She's in my bedroom on my bed. <laughs> so she's following me around all morning. I'm like, baby, I'm not going anywhere. You can go lay down somewhere. Um, and then I'm feeding her um, the food that they said to feed her, which is um, boiled. Um, so far I've done the boiled beef, ground beef. She loves that. Um, and then I made some rice for her with low sodium um, chicken broth. Um, then I put some carrots and green beans in there. Right now she's pushing away the carrots and green beans. Goofball. Um, but she's eaten the rice, a lot of the rice, um, and she's devouring the, the ground beef. I'm not giving her a lot because this is a, um, the pancreatitis also affects the stomach and could have caused ulcers in her, which may be the reason for the anemia or there's a whole nother issue happening. Um, but so I don't want her to eat lots of, you know, each sitting or whatever. Um, but in order to get her her pills, um, my dog is normally very food driven. So it was so easy, to, you know, I just stick a pill in some kind of food I could toss and then I would just toss it to her and she loves to grab food out of the air and then she just devours it and doesn't even realize there's a pill in there. Well, I can't do that right now. So I found that if I just take a little bit of the boiled um, ground beef and kind of clump it together and put the pill in the middle of it and kind of put it by her mouth and then put it in her mouth, she just swallows it down. So luckily I'm getting her pills in her. Um, she's drinking lots of water and um, potty in as normal and yeah, everything except she's not her normal spunky happy self. So that's my update. Sorry if you are not interested in that, but I had to get it out for the people who are. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would get this out. Now today it is I'm in Dallas area, um, and there is a, it's beautiful out. Um, I did have to leave her a little bit this morning and take a package I sold on Poshmark, two packages actually on Poshmark, uh, to the post office, 
And then I realized I was out of all of my shipping materials and stuff, so I had to stop at Dollar Tree. And then I came home. Well, actually, I'll admit it. I stopped at Panera and got a everything bagel with cream cheese. And I brought that home and had that for breakfast. Um, and then other than that, I've just been here with Belle. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day. This sunny, cloudless, a beautiful breeze is blowing. My window is open in here. Um, but I have sliding glass doors in my living room, my dining room, and my bedroom and so this is the only window window um you know that you can open and there's a screen in the whole bit i don't have screens on the sliding doors they didn't come with screens so there's something in this package that i need so that's why i'm opening this package today and i want to put it up because i want the breeze to go through the bedroom so bella can get some fresh air um without bugs coming in which would be helpful uh anyway so let's get into the oh first let me get on my tablet and get in the order for you so I can give you some form of pricing. But remember, um, Timu is a place where pricing fluctuates greatly. Um, and so it doesn't really matter when you hear me say a price or the price I paid for it. Because it could have dropped and increased multiple times between the time I placed my order, the time I received my order, the time I video. I mean, you know. You could get it cheaper. I could get it. It doesn't matter. There's a top I really want. I'm so sorry. I'm like shopping. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me shop for one second. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. Stop it. Okay. That is the problem with T Temu. It's supposed to be Temu, but I'm going to say Temu because I just like that better. Okay. So. Oh, and they're having a blowout sale. Uh, things down to 19 cents right now. Ooh. And do you remember the easy way of finding very, very cheap items? You go up here, if I can hold my tablet in my hand. Go up here to the search bar, type in cheapest items available. Once you type that in, go to the sort button, hit um, price lowest, low to high, and then it will just sort all your items from a penny on up, and you can see if there's anything in there of interest to you that you might not have thought about, but if you see something for like 18 cents, you, you might want to purchase it. So just a little tip of mine, I'm trying to save you some money while I am trying to find my order. Uh, the other thing is always check for your price adjustments. I do have a video in my video catalog thing there uh, where I did a Timu price adjustment video to kind of explain it to you better. I don't have anything on this order that is qualifying for price adjustment or I would show you that again. Um, but okay, so we're in my order now. Hopefully it will stand up there. Oh. Okay, so like one of my items, I can see right on here, I got four price adjustments between the time I placed the order and and today. Um, and you can get price adjustments 30 days from the time you hit that little submit button. And remember, returns are free uh, for the first return per order. So if you've got three items in an order you want to return, make sure you do that all at once as your first return for that order. And um, it will be free if they do ask you to return the items. A lot of times, depending on the item, the price, whatever criteria they use, um, they may just say, keep the item and here's your refund. So it's, it's yeah, it's great. So let me get to the item that I really, really want. And I hope it meets my expectations. <laughs> but it's called a hands... <coughs> Pardon me, you're going to hear that a little bit. Sorry. Hands-free magnetic mesh screen. I purchased it for $7.19 and I got it in the chocolate design. But I've been wanting these forever and I've always seen them really expensive and they've just been a plain like screen mesh. But this is, looks really cute. Let's see if it lives up to the picture. But it just looked really cute. Um, let's see, the color chocolate right now is $7.98. The color green is also $7.98. So it's coming in this little bag. Um, high, <laughs> the high class, auto automatically soft yarn door. Okay. Um, it's a hundred by 210. I don't know if that's centimeters or inches, but it's like you straighten the magnetic strip to flatten out on the screen door. Um, yeah. And you just affix it with, um, magnetic strips. Okay. Hopefully this would be easy to do. But like I said, it comes in a design. And I just thought that was cute. I'm going to have something up there. Might as well be something cute to look at, right? So 
I really would love to have found one with like an ocean scene on it. That's my that's my jam, and it'd be nice to like look at my bedroom sliding glass door and just see the ocean. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, so here we go. We're taking it out of the bag, and something just fell on the floor. So pardon, what fell on the floor? Oh. Well, I'm not going to tack it up. Oh, I guess you would have to tack it to your wall if you were putting it. Okay. I'm trying to think this through. Maybe this is like for um, if you're using it on a regular door. Um, maybe that's not metal. Uh, it comes with this little container of tacks. So I guess you could tack it into the frame or whatever. But I'm hoping to attack it, to attach it to all the metal around my screen door. Oh, there it is. So it comes like this. Okay, all right, okay. So it's got these, that's so cute. Look at the bottom of it. It's just beautiful, like a mesh, sparkly thing on the bottom. That's really pretty. It's just not your ordinary, you know? And then, okay, and then that's how you would get in and out of it if you wanted. So it's got like a door opening on it, but it closes enough that the majority of bugs wouldn't get through there. But there we go. Now you're not gonna see the prettiness because it just looks like a clear screen. But it has, and I'll show you the picture on um, my tablet, which is a way better picture. Um, but, so, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got, no, you can't see it. Where did they go? Where did you go, mister? Oh, there you are. There's like a, can you see it at all? There's a blue owl on there, and then there's a brown owl, and so it's a design. But it's just this mesh. Um... Okay, this is not what I thought it was then, so this is not going to, well, it will work because I have magnets, but it won't work. Okay, if you were thinking like I was, mistakenly, um, that this was something you could, the way they described it as magnetic, I was thinking that there was magnet, there were magnets down the side, you know, so that I could just stick it under the screen door, but that's what the tacks are for. I guess you tack it to, like I said, your frame. Um, so I'm either going to stick, well, today... Um, temporarily I'm gonna just put a bunch of magnet you know me with my my cruise magnets that I have those cruise hooks uh, magnets that I put all around the metal walls of my cruise ship cabin uh, for extra storage right now I'll use those to attach them and any other magnets I might have in my little craft container but I'm gonna look and see if I can find like a magnetic strip of some kind that you can stick on to stuff. I'm sure they make stuff like that. Um, and then be able to just stick it up there all the time. But, but the magnetic part they meant was you can put this on your door, but you still have access, you know, into your room with these magnets. And I do like how they made them pretty. So see how they decorated the little magnets. So it's a pretty design to it. Um, and there's a little saying on it. Yeah, that looks really cute. So I'm gonna have to make that work for what I want it to work for but if you had a door like I have a front door that does not have a screen door on it um, that would work for that if I wanted to do that I don't want to stick these tacks in my door frame but if that's something that you wanted to do um, it would definitely work for that um, but here's what it looks like and it's just adorable look at that I mean you're barely going to see it, I think, because they made it, here it looks like so intensely painted, um, but as you just saw, it's, you know, it's very, very light on there, so I don't know if you're really going to see it or not, but um, yeah, so I'm still going to use it, and I'm still going to be happy with it, because it's going to achieve what I want once I kind of maneuver it, but when we, there we go, um, and Normally, I would worry about Bella. Um, I wouldn't leave it, like, <laughs> if I left it <laughs> just like this on my door um, with those little magnets on it, quite easily, if she wanted to get out, she would just push her way out of there. Uh, probably not in her condition right now, because she's just kind of do 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 in a route. <laughs> but um, um, when she gets better, <laughs> let's think positively, when she gets better and back to her old self, um... <laughs> Uh, she'll be able to, I mean, she would be able to like, oh, squirrel, boom, gone. So you don't want this on a door that you don't want pets or kids going in and out of. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just put, I have a child gate that I just have laying around. It's actually right there. Um, and I'm just going to put that against the door. I don't have to attach it or anything. She's kind of afraid of it because it, when she was a puppy, a little puppy, it fell. 
um, and scared the living yeah things out of her. So uh, to this day, 13 years later, she remembers that and is afraid to push that gate or touch it or anything. So <laughs> people look at me like, yeah, that gate just leaning against the wall going to hold that dog back. And I'm like, yeah, well, but I kind of like it because if somebody were to come in my home, I always felt safer just kind of putting her behind that gate, but being able to see everything. And then if I were to get into danger or somebody threatened me, um, hopefully she would be protective enough that it would overcome her fear of that gate and she could just push it over and come help me. So that was my thought process. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So the bottom of the um, screen door will have, you know, the gate up against it, still be able to get a bit of a breeze in, but then the whole top will be open and then I can get some cross ventilation through my house which is very needed after this winter do you hear her she's barking every time she barks i'm like oh she's feeling good enough to bark you know it just gives me a little hope that it might not be today you know <laughs> okay anyway um the next item i got and if you like any of these items and you want to purchase the exact same thing i purchased if it is still available if you go down into that little description box right under me, um, there's a little line of description that it should say more dot dot dot. You click on that more, and then I think there's another more, and you can really expand that description box, and all my links are in there. Some of you were having trouble using the links, saying that they didn't work. So I've also started to put in that description, I put the description, the price it was at the time, that I put the description and then I'm trying to put the item number in there and you could just take that item number put it in the search bar in Timu and search for that exact same item that same seller if you happen to like what I purchased because I can only review what I purchased from whatever buyer you know I purchased I, that exact item is all I can review there could be and I've seen this happen actually if you have watched my videos I had bought this pair of pants um, and I thought they they had like um, snaps up the side and I accidentally ordered it twice but I'm I ordered it from two different dealers on accident too so you know without even thinking I just ordered it twice well the first one came and it was a thicker material and whatever you know and then the next one came and it was a very thin shiny material so but the pictures look the same so if you want the exact same thing I'm reviewing on here for you then use my item number or link down below long story short this thing you probably you have seen before if you watched my videos because I liked it so much I purchased more um, I purchased it for a dollar 38 but I got a price adjustment so it was less I purchased it in the blue holy guacamole what what oh I'm so upset go get it it is 97 cents right now <laughs> and they have a multitude of colors and sizes whatever so this is that kitchen refrigerator liner. It's this beautiful blue. It's looking a little bluer on there. A free, I like the color I'm seeing on my screen almost better than the color I have in my hands. This is more like a sea green blue. Uh, but anyway, they're they're just it's a pack of four. And um, the other ones I have in my fridge, but I wanted more to have my whole fridge be the same. And I like them because if you, you know, food dribbles on it, whatever, you just have to take it out of here. You know, you just have to take your food out of the fridge, take this little mat out, wash the mat and put it back. You don't have to do the whole taking the shelves out of the fridge and the glass and the whole. Oh, I hate that so much. So I'm willing to do this. So one side is smooth. Okay. And then the other side has these bubbles on it, like a gripper bubbles. So whichever way you want to, you want to lay it in there, I do smooth side up. So it's easier to clean. Um, but yeah, and you get four of them. Okay, there's four in here. I'll show you maybe, kind of, sort of. <laughs> you can tell I'm not feeling my, my, my total normal self, but I am better. I'm able to make it all day long without falling asleep or coughing myself to death or having to use my nebulizer. <laughs> anyway, there's four in there, and they're a really good size. They are... Ah, it's falling. My tablet never wants to stand up here. I need to bring my stand in here, and I always forgot. I see. I see Jackie Peterson. You just, you just uh, commented on one of my videos. <laughs> Hi, girl. <laughs> so anyway, um, seventeen point seven inches long and eleven point four inches wide. So there you go. Yay. 
Um, they are food grade, multi-purpose. They are trimmable, easy to cut if this doesn't fit your fridge or you want one smaller or maybe you want to put it in a drawer and that's smaller. You can just cut it with scissors or whatever. Uh, easy to clean, BPA free, yay, and non-toxic. So you get four of them, washable, waterproof, whatever. I Like I said, they come in this light blue, like a reddish pink, like a brown, a green, and lots of colors. So you could just snazz up your fridge but i just thought this to me reminds me of food I don't, oh that breeze is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> anyway there's an item i have done a repurchase so you do know oh my goodness my tablet is false you do know that i like that purchase okay hopefully it'll stay now okay next what do we got oh we got an I, oh. article of clothing okay i can speak I do not know how to pronounce the first word they have in their description, and I don't know what it means, but it says G-U-I-P-U-R-E. We pure? What pure? I have no idea. And some of you are laughing like crazy because you know how to pronounce that, but I do not. Uh, but it's a la lace tank top casual sleeveless. Um, I bought it for $4.78. I did get a price adjustment downward. Um, I bought it in a pale pinkish gray. I bought it a size up just because I thought it looked a little body contouring and I didn't want that much of a body contouring unless I had like the model's body, which unfortunately I did not. This is not one of the great Timu bags, back to a plastic one, I don't know how it got downgraded. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. I just loved the look of it and I think it would look gorgeous under like a blazer um, for work. But yeah, look at that, just this lace beautiful floral lace top to it and then just this plain bottom to it so you see how yeah it's not real wide so it's going to be kind of body hugging um, for me uh, but yeah that's it and then on the back there is this beautiful they did the button very well they matched it very well look at that pardon my nails they are horrific because being sick and then Bella I just haven't felt up to polishing them um, but anyway, there's this beautiful like pearly button, but it's this pink that matches and then there's the buttonhole So you could attach it on the back, but I just thought that was gorgeous What y'all think? I think it's gorgeous So yeah, just an under Under a blazer nice and cool, but yet yeah So there you go. I like that. I'm pleased Let us see the model so this would it would look like on the perfect body well perfect in some people's eyes but anyway it's just it's just so embellished and pretty i really like it but see how body hugging it is yeah that's what i was afraid of so i thought let me order it extra an, an extra large or what did i get extra extra large something so that hopefully it won't be as as yeah i gotta get working out man it's so hard to get back in that zone Especially with everything going on. <laughs> so, okay, this I got for my kitchen. My kitchen is really, um, it's older. Uh, my house is older, so nothing is really modernized um, as far as like cabinets and stuff. I really haven't decided. They're like a brown, that old brown color. Um, I've decided, hopefully this summer, um, I'm going to get on the ball and I'm going to paint them myself um any advice go ahead put it below uh, but uh i did it back home before i sold my house i painted the brown cabinets white and they looked beautiful but and then i sold my house um but um so i want to paint the cabinets white to kind of open it up because it's just a tiny little walk through you know i mean you go in my dining room you're in my kitchen there's just so on the one to try and tell you how large how small it is so on the one side there's one cabinet my stove one skinny cabinet, there's skinny cabinet. So one skinny cabinet, my stove, one skinny cabinet, my fridge. And then there's a wall that has um, a door that opens up where it only fits my washer, my dryer, and then I have, you know, shelving and stuff in there. And I've used as much space in that place as I possibly can, I think, just to give me more storage. But that's how tiny it is. And then the other side, of course, has um, a couple cabinets. Uh, well, actually, it's got a trash compactor I don't use, but I use the drawer, you know, the trash compactor compartment is where I store my garbage can. So I do that. Um, but, um, and then it's got um, a set of drawers. I'm trying to picture my kitchen. So it's got a set of drawers, the dishwasher, then the sink, 
and then it's really skinny cabinet and that's it so yeah so it's tiny anyway and so and then the countertops are really old and yes i'd love to replace them with a marble or something um, that was my original plan but we'll see how finances go i mean it's not much of a cabinet but i'd have to have it done by someone um but anyway so they're old and they stain easier and so where i had my coffee the coffee is kind of staying the counter and i've tried bleaching it and different things and it's still just not perfect um so in the meantime i saw this and i'm like let me use this and i just felt the sneeze coming up let me use this to kind of disguise it while i'm figuring in my brain what i'm going to do um so my son he used a special countertop like paint and he redid his bathroom because he's in an older house in, in tennessee and he wanted to redo the bathroom but you know on the budget um and so he did it and then there's some kind of seal it and stuff you put on it looks really really nice but i don't know if i'm that confident yet so we'll see but i want to do so i want to do something with the countertops eventually i want a stainless steel sink in instead of the white that just stains and scratches i don't like that i like the stainless steel personally um and then um i want to put a real backsplash on uh, temporarily i am purchasing um some backsplash stick on um uh, tile designs from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to do temporarily just to update it but anyway this I thought will help with the staining of the cabinet tree of the countertop by my coffee area because I made the last skinny little little um cabinet the top of it I made it in my little coffee stand and so on the wall I have a shelf and it's got a cute little coffee decoration on it and all my little you know flavorings and then my coffee and then my, yeah it's really cute um this kind of has that smell of those plants, but not it's not as strong because you see I'm, I'm still alive. Uh, but anyway, that, that'll go away. I might put it outside for a little while. But it's a nice, like a spongy kind of feeling to it. And then it's got this kind of non-slip back to it. That's where the smell's coming from. But it's just this cute little coffee, coffee shop thing. So it's got a menu and then cups of coffee. And then it's got like a coffee menu, tea, vanilla tea, green tea, Americano, Mocha espresso, desserts, homemade, cupcake, cheesecake, uh, panini, veggie toast, salmon panini. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I just thought it was really cute. Um, I thought it would fit this way. I think it might be too wide. I told you it's a skinny. It's going to get um, But we'll see. Um, if so, I'll have to put it funky. But anyway, I thought I would put my coffee maker around here, my coffee jar where I have all my coffee grounds in there and stuff, and just have that little corner i'll keep this cost me um two dollars and 69 cents it's 11.81 inches by 15.75 so there you go what is it now you ask i shall tell you oh and i got an adjustment on that so i paid 269 with and then got a price adjustment to lower it holy guacamole it is now six dollars and 87 cents whoa okay y'all i got a deal on that puppy so if you like it, keep an eye out for it. Sometimes it's a good idea to put the item in your cart. If you don't need something right away, put your item in your cart and leave it there. And, and sometimes you'll get an email or text saying, hey, that item in your cart is now blankety blank. And they'll drop the price to get you to order. So yeah, just a suggestion. So I'm not going to put that by my clothes. But I do like that. So that's key. That's a retro, what is it called? One piece uh, retro coffee pattern, moisture proof, absorbent coffee pads coffee bar accessories rubber of all of these descriptions rubber absorbent dishwashing pad kitchen placement kitchen counter and perfect accessory for coffee machines whoo okay that was that was a mouthful all right so that's adorbs in my opinion so that i'm happy with too what have we next i think this is that i think that i believe this is my one piece hanging jewelry storage organizer Yes, I have too much jewelry. No, I will not be getting rid of it. <laughs> and I just had a um, friend mail um, from one of you all, and you know who you are, and thank you so much. I loved everything in that fan mail, um, and I was going to answer your, your email, but then the stuff with Bella happened, and I apologize that I haven't got back to you um, yet, but I, I will. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you if you're watching. So thank you so much. I loved it. 
Um, and the ring, the blue ring, I know the stone looks kind of, you know, cheesy, but I love it. I just love it. And it goes great with this ring. So, yeah, thank you. Um, she's always thinking about me, and she's just amazingly sweet and generous, and I am so proud to have her as um, one of my viewers, one of my subscribers. And she doesn't like to be mentioned a lot, I believe. So she didn't give me permission to mention her name, so I won't. But you know who you are. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so one piece hanging jewelry storage. So I need more storage. So you know the last time or a couple times ago I bought those little hooks. And they're little um, sticky, you know, sticky on the bag, little hooks, individual hooks, and you can put them on whatever. So I want to build like a shelf or something or something to hang on my wall. Or maybe I'll, you know, paint this and I'll attach them to here. Um, and then my vision is I can hang um, necklaces from it. I like things to be in view. I'm not the kind of person, my mom years ago, years ago bought me one of those beautiful wooden stand-up jewelry boxes you know there you open the top and there's a mirror and the spot and then you open the sides and there's more storage and then there's drawer yeah it's beautiful and I love it and I stored stuff in that but I found I never <coughs> remember to go in there and look for jewelry I just use the jewelry I have out in other areas so for me personally if something is put away totally um, not right easily in my view while I'm getting ready I just forget about it so I need stuff to be in my view so I thought this I could hang like on the back of my bedroom door or something where I could see it before I leave um, but it I love it because it looks like a you know your basic black dress doesn't it that's adorable um, but you can just uh, put a hanger in here so you'll stick the hanger in there and then the hanger will be here and you could just hang it you know one of the over the door hooks you could hang it anywhere um, and then um, what's nice about that and then it's not attached to anything is because there's also storage on the back I'll show you but I got it for a dollar 47 um, it is now 277 it is 29.92 inches long so over two feet long and 16.93 inches at its widest point so these are all little pockets so you can put you know I was thinking my bracelets because I don't have them stored I mean, I have them stored one way, but I don't like the way they're stored. So I could do that with all of my bracelets and put them in there so I wear more than the same two all the time. Um, let me see. So pockets are pretty wide. Are they the same? Yeah, I mean, they get a little wider towards the bottom only because so does the dress, you know. <laughs> so at the bottom, they're about, you know, that wide. And then at the top, they're about that wide. So yeah, not much difference, but there's a whole bunch of them, man. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows by three across. So 30 pockets. You've got 30 storage pockets on here. But on the back, there's these little Velcro tabs. Okay. Um, oh, no, they're not Velcro. No. Okay, they're just tabs. So see, there's no way to open the tab. But you could put your necklace in there and then you know, attach the, you know, close the, the necklace, or you could put a bracelet, you know, like a, um, you could put one that, the kind that clamp onto you, I don't remember what they're called, you could clamp that on there, or one that you have to um, attach, like a lobster claw, backing, whatever you could hang, so you could hang a ton of jewelry here, and here you've got four, seven, ten, you got 14 of those on the back, they go all the way down, they're just hard to see with my glare, so see them go all the way down. And then all the way up. So that is so cute. That is good. It's a nice, you know, it's just a mesh thing. But it's not easily terrible, terrible, not terrible, um, rippable, <laughs> that kind of terrible. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like that material they make some of the storage little boxes in. But yeah, it's, uh, it looks sturdy enough for what I want to do with it. But I just thought that was kind of cute and it's kind of decorative at the same time, which is what I like to do with my door, jewelry storage, is have it be decorative on top of useful. So I think that applies. Oh, let me show you it with the stuff in it. So here's a picture where they've got all the little pockets filled. So look how much jewelry and look at all the stuff you can put on the back of it. Holy guacamole. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so yeah. So what do they have in there? They've got pins and... Looks like mostly pins and bracelets, a couple earrings on the back. They've got necklaces and bracelets. Yeah, that's cool. 
That's cool. Okay, I'm excited. I'll be doing that over this weekend while my pup is asleep. We've been cuddling all the time. <laughs> like, I mean, if this was going to happen, and if it does happen, please don't let it happen. But if it does happen, at least it's a long weekend and I'm home with her because um, I'd really want to be there with her if she were to leave me. Um, but I have got it in my head that I will not feel guilt. I will try not to feel guilt if she passes and I'm not at home for whatever reason. So I can't be here 24 seven. I still have to work. I still have to, you know, shop for grocery. You know, I still have to, to have my life going. I've limited like going out on the weekend or anything for her, but, um, yeah, I, I will try my best to be there for her to help her pass. Um, but, um, I have to get it in my head that I cannot feel guilty about not being able to be here 24 seven. So, um, I was talking with a coworker about that and she was, you know, helping me get all through this. So yeah, <laughs> cause that was my first thought is what if I'm not there, but I can't be there all the time. I can't. Um, okay. The next one is an elegant halter neck woman's top. And I'm hoping it, this is something I can wear as like a cover up at work and stuff, but we'll see. It was $9.99 when I purchased it, but I did get a price adjustment. It is now $9.97. Okay. So we'll see how the, now this is in one of the good teeny bags. Well, I zipped it up. <laughs> oh, so beautiful out there. I mean, it's so sad because if she was feeling her old self, we'd be walking down by the harbor today and you'd get that video, but she's just not able to do that, but it's just beautiful. Okay, anyway, so it's black and it's a longer one, um, but it's just, it's just like a, yeah, this is pretty. Oh, this, that'll, that'll, I think that'll work. I hope that'll work. So anyway, okay, the sleeves are like this see-through, but they've got these little fuzzy puffs that look like little flowers or something, and they stick up, and they're soft, and the this is soft too, very soft, this, whatever you call that, but soft, and then the sleeves have like a little cuff on them, but they don't look like a tight cuff or anything, and they're not elastic, it doesn't stretch at all, um, and then the front, so there's a little, like a little collar down it, and then you've got this design just that far down the very top of it so that's really pretty and then the bottom all the way down to the bottom is that same sleeve material with the little puppers oh that's cute um, and then the back and the side so it comes down the back and then right here um, it's got a little waistline to it and then it just comes down to this flowy bottom and yes I will show you the model so if you put it on can I Oh, and if you see what I have on, sorry, so I've got my Timu <laughs> Peking Teddy Bear t-shirt on. <laughs> I just think that was so cute. Um, anyway, so yeah, so it just would go on you like that and just kind of cover you up. It doesn't attach or anything, but you've got your little sleeves you can see through. Very comfy, not tight here nothing so let me show you her of course she looks spectacular but you know whatever we can't all be supermodels or else they wouldn't look so special right they just look like the average person <laughs> so anyway there she is so you see it's just a see-through just something to cover up you know whatever I have underneath I'm not gonna look like that at work well I won't look like that anywhere but I won't be wearing that at work but I could wear my jeans one day you know on a casual Friday I could wear jeans and then I could wear like a t-shirt or um tank top something underneath and then just put this little cover up over it especially in the summer when it's gonna be so warm but see how it's got that little tighter not tight but a little um defined waist there and then it just flows down to almost by her knees yeah i think mean, that's really pretty and it was ten dollars different i wanted something different you know i got all my blazers and everything sweaters but i wanted something a little a little different but there you go so i'm dressing teddy up <laughs> and then one more thing, and we are done. Now, this poor box, I'm hoping what's in it has not suffered to the degree that the box has. But he has traveled around the world, or she has, and um, she shows it. 
So, <laughs> all scrunched up. Poor little thing. <coughs> this is something I got for work that I just want as another little decoration on my desk and another reminder just, you know, of love and peace and take a breath and everything's going to be okay. We will get through whatever we need to get through and it's all for a reason and okay. Um, Bella is was put into my life to help promote quote because there is no such breed but pit bull breeds breeds um to help you learn that they're not what you see in the news yeah of course there are those instances but there are those instances with a lot of different dogs um it's just pit bulls are on the list man like the horror of the earth and it's just they're the most loving dogs loyal dog i've ever had and the people the responsible owners that I know that also have them say the exact same thing they're cuddle dogs they love kids they're just just amazing animals so I think she was put here for me to help learn um hi beautiful there she is I'm like made a mess you can't get by me you can come by me or come say hi to everybody no you just see when I'm home yeah her breathing's hard and uh yeah but not not to the point where she can't breathe or I have to make a decision but no she's good hi sweetheart <laughs> I was thinking of looking through some of my old videos where um I have her hi gorgeous I have videos of her when she used to um uh, she when she was younger she would go outside when it was raining and when I had a yard and she would just jump six feet up in the air and I hears her jaw chomp and shut as she's trying to catch drops of water and 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 when she the kids behind us kept throwing balls over our house and I kept they would come and knock on the door for it and I said dude if you throw that ball over and my dog's out the ball ain't coming back so you got to be careful and we had a, they had an eight foot fence because they put a pool in and then got a bigger fence and I'm like if you're throwing that ball over the fence I'm so sorry but it's not coming back <laughs> but um so there's one video I remember I gotta find that they threw a football over and she found that football and she had the best time ever just playing with that football. Of course, it was flat as a pancake by the time she was done, but she had the best time. So some of you have asked for some Bella videos, so um, I'm going to try and, and find some of them and uh, put out some videos with that. Um, not really taking any of her now because she's really not doing much, but um, <laughs> let me see if I can catch this because this is kind of cute. Ah. Let me switch it over. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. What you doing, Bella? What you doing? <laughs> she just rolls around on the floor like a goof. And then just lays there. Yep, there's Miss Bella. Oh, baby. Oh, she. I know what she's doing right now. She's scratching her ears. Yeah. She does have a double ear infection. Um, but the doctor was like, let's get, you know, hopefully the antibiotics will help that too. But we're going to concentrate on her major issues and then worry about anything else. But, yeah. So that's that's her. Hi, Bowsy. Really, she's alive. She <laughs> She's just kind of being a goofball. All right, hold on. Okay, so rolling. Yeah. Um, we, now she just rolled completely over. Of course, that while I'm filming, she just kind of laid there. And now she's rolling over. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so there's still some energy in there. Um. But yeah, I'm going to try and get some of those for y'all. I also have a picture I just came across again. Oh, luckily this is intact. Yeah. Um, that I just came across again of her when we brought her home. And it's my daughter holding her. And she's just holding her in her hand because she was five pounds when we got her. <laughs> so, um, but I did look over her old vet records and she was at one point in, I think, 2020? Was it 2020? Yeah, I think before her surgery. So um, cause I had to take her in during COVID, which was not fun because you couldn't go in with them. And, oh, that was just agony. But anyway, um, so she had to have surgery on her ear and, uh, she weighed 74 pounds. Um, when, uh, she came in for her next visit, she was like 70 pounds, I you know, uh, for her checkup after the surgery and everything. And then now she's 57. So she's lost quite a lot of weight during this, this whole 
<laughs> I see you looking at me. This whole situation. So, okay. Anyway, all right, right, right. So, thinking brighter thoughts is why I purchased this item, and it looks to be intact. So, yay! But it is a classic indoor outdoor drainage flower holder, two ninety seven. But like I said, I got one, two, three, four price adjustments on this baby, so I didn't pay anywhere near that price. Right now, it's a dollar ninety eight. But I just thought she was so lovely and peaceful, and just all about how what I want to be. She is classic indoor-outdoor drainage flower pot set. I don't know why they say drainage, because there is no hole in the bottom. Um, it's like a plasticky, whatever. Um, it's lacquered and floor-mounted. What? That's... Okay. Uh, unique, irregular design for home and garden decor. Okay. Look at her. Does she not... Do you not sense out of this when you see it? Just peace, love, harmony, chill, meditate. Life's going to go great. Get through the hard stuff. Go on to the good stuff. Everything's for meaning and purpose, right? Uh, Bella brought love and light into my life. And uh, just, yeah. So everything has a purpose. And sometimes we have to go through the hard part of it. <laughs> uh, but we have the good part to remember. But anyway, that's what she reminded me of. Look at her. Look at how serene and beautiful she is. And look, there's a heart. But yeah. And she's, well, she doesn't, yeah. But anyway, so you put a little plant in there. Or, you know, I'm going to put a little fake flower or something in there, take her to work and just have her remind me that, you know, life is going to be good. It's going to be good again. It's just, I mean, it's good now, uh, but um, it'll either be wonderful again because I got a miracle and I get her for another year or um, it'll be good again when, you know, I get through the grief and then life goes on and, and I get to the point where I want to, you know, rescue another pit bull. Uh, so, I mean, I didn't rescue her. We did get her from my daughter's friend whose dog, uh, they had both the mom and dad people and, um, America Staffordshire Terrier and, um, we had puppies. And so we got her that way. But, uh, after I researched all about her breed and I read all the news stories and then I, I have a friend who rescues dogs. I'm like, Oh my God. And I'm on a bunch of different, um, American Staffordshire dog, um, Facebook groups and just, bad things that go on with them and like I know I was telling the story one of you told me and I forget was it the UK or England where they've now banned um pit bulls and they were having to be euthanized and stuff oh my god it breaks my heart um but um uh, but yeah the things that they do and they outlaw them and you can't have them in apartments and da 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 I'm like this is just ridiculous um I, I I'm totally against the fighting of them I'm totally against that um, totally against some of what people teach these dogs to be to be cruel and stuff, but that's taught. Um, basically, I let her be herself, and she's just the most loving, sweet thing. So aggression is not in here. When they were doing all this blood tests and sticking stuff in her, and, and you know, putting these the fluid in her, she never once turned at him. She never once tries to bite. She never. It's just not her normal instinct. So. Okay, give them a chance. Anyway, um, yeah, so she reminds me, it's going to get better. You're always going to have some bad times, and you'll have some good times. So that's that's that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just thought she was so adorable. Look at her. And, again, she's only um, $1.98, and you can put a plant up in there, but there is no drainage hole if, or whatever if you – I mean, I guess you could put – Don't can't you put, like, with real plants, can't you put, like, stones or something at the bottom and then – the dirt or a pot and then when you water it it goes in the stone I don't know I'm not good with plants whatsoever that's why I have all this thick stuff <laughs> I could have like these little I love these look at these I don't know what they are or what they're made of but I love them and they're fake and they're just so cute so they'd be even cute in there look at that look at her with a flower on her come here look at how she'd look Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. Anyway, <laughs> so um, that is my last thing in this order. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you go to that description box, I do have a link. If you have not downloaded the Timu app on a device, please use my link. It gives me a little something and it gives you, I believe, 30% off and then a discount coupon book or something. Um, also, if you haven't tried it, try using my code. AFI 40068. Um, 
If you're a new user, I believe that gives you a discount. I'm not sure if it works if you're a recurring user, but try it anyway. All I can say is code not valid, right? It doesn't cost you anything. And um, if it happens to give you something, yay. Uh, yeah, that's that. And then if you want to help support my channel, if that's something you desire to do, which you definitely do not have to, but if you want to support the channel, which means I can get more items to review or get different, you know, um, ideas to go and make some videos that might cost a little something, um, your support uh, would help that process. Um, there's a thanks button right down below and you can put any amount in that you want and send a thanks um, to my channel. Uh, there's also a buy me a coffee button that says the same thing. So any of that money just goes right back into my channel. It doesn't make me wealthy by any means, but it will go into my channel. So I thank you for that in advance and you know, my normal stuff, like, subscribe, comment and uh, share if you want. Help me grow this channel even more. I mean, I can't even believe I'm at a thousand and asking for more just seems like being greedy, but it would be cool. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, thank you guys again. Thank you, my special uh, friend, fan, uh, male, friend, male uh, person. You know who you are. Thank you. Love you. Um, told my mom and dad about you doing that, and they were just like, oh, she's so sweet. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Thank you. We thank you. <laughs> Bella thanks you. She's gone again. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And um, if I do happen to get this up in time, happy Easter. I hope you have a blessed, happy holiday. Um, if you want, I hope you spend it with family. If you're alone, just treasure that we're alive and we're breathing and we're able to watch YouTube things <laughs> and um, that life is sweet that we're here. The alternative to, you know, that is not being here and that's no good. So, um, and uh, just think about the fact that even though you might be alone, I'm thinking about you. I'll be alone with Bella. Um, and uh, I know that I am blessed that you watch my channel and that you've subscribed. So, and that you're my friends and my passengers in my car and all that other stuff. So, oh, there's another, <laughs> I just got a notice for Adrienne Miller has just put up a video. So if you haven't found her, check her out too, because I put a couple of people that I really like down below in the description box. There's more. I know I have to get to you, some of my subscribers and watch your channels, but I haven't been watching, and you know, the, you know the story. So anyway, I will one day catch up, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, uh, that's it for me and, uh, yeah, go out, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful holiday. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>